we've learned a lot about the disease and we know that the vast majority of cases are very mild or have no symptoms. So it would not be surprising that at that time there was also a number of very mild cases that were undetected because we didn't even know that there were uh, mild cases at that time. Uh, so and, and that could explain how some of the people who uh, had no link with the market uh, um, uh, could have been infected. What would be uh, 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 of great help is if we could get hold of the virus before it adapted to humans, before the version we have now, because then we will better understand how it adapted to humans, uh, how it evolved, and, and what are the changes in the uh, makeup of the virus that uh, that um, uh, most likely did this adaptation because now we can see uh, uh, different structure of the virus, we can see mutations sometimes, but we don't really understand which mutation is critical, which one is less critical. It's not too late. It's, uh, as I said, for the MERS uh, virus, it took about a year before we, we found the, the, the source. So it's, uh, it's, it's never too late, and it's, uh, but it's important that we, we try to, uh, to, uh, to find the, the source and understand what happened at the start of the event to avoid a repeat of this event and to repeat, to avoid another uh, spillover event in the coming years with other different viruses.